Hi, everyone. June 16, 2021, Lily Tang Williams is doing a lot of fighting as a Chinese immigrant who had who's become an American citizen who is very worried about critical race theory, as everybody should be. Let's listen to this interview that Lily Tang Williams gave on the 10th. Lily Tang Williams, she was born in China. She moved here at 24 years old, and she's talking to us for a couple minutes about how CRT, critical race theory, is directly tied to Marxism and communism. Let's go to... Williams, are you there? I am. Thank you for having me tonight. Not a problem, not a problem. So you just gave a talk. Tell us critical theory. Critical theory tied to critical race theory. How is it directly tied to communism? Well, it is a communism, Marxism. They wanted to divide people into oppressor versus oppressed. And that's the only way they can get people to fight against each other to achieve their agenda. Their tactic is exactly the same as Mao used to divide the Chinese into two big giant groups, actually total 10 classes, because, um, you know, when five red and five black classes fight each other, then they win. So he become godlike leader and enslaved everybody. So that's what you see going on here with CRT, because many people will say CRT has nothing to do with that. You're saying the divide, the division of the people, of the community, um, is what makes it tied to, China, uh, to communism. Well, if you um, read the Communist Manifesto, Marxism is about dividing people into oppressor and versus oppressed. So there are two giant groups, but the Mao did it even further. It's uh, five black classes under the oppressor group and the five red classes under the oppressed group. And 20 million people died during his Cultural Revolution um, by going through the similar tactics we have today. You go to struggle sessions, you apologize for being black classes, you apologize for your ancestors, and uh, you denounce your families and turn children against family, parents, and grandparents, and uh, change their than Chinese last names. It's all similar struggle sessions to divide people. If people all live happily together as United Americans, how do they communist, Marxist, to achieve their agenda? So I'm warning as a Chinese immigrant who survived the Mao's Cultural Revolution and come to America for freedom, for American dream, I, I want to warn people, don't let this happen here. Because 1.4 billion Chinese today are still not free people. Why do we want to take Marxist tactics to divide our citizens? America is not a racist country. I love this country. That's why I'm doing what I'm doing to tell people, don't let this country become like communist China. My sister, thank you so much for thank joining us. So where are you going next? You're speaking around the country. Where, where will you be going next? Dustinville. I am uh, going to um, Dustinville to visit Dustinville. Then I'm going to Pennsylvania and go back to my home in New Hampshire. We are fighting critical race theory in New Hampshire, too. I, I On my watch, I'm not going to let this country to become like China. So I will have to be activated. People have to wake up. We cannot just let the Marxists take over. My sister, thank you so much. Thank you, Shawnee Zapp and Darth, for getting this interview for thank us. You. Thank you, really brothers. Williams, we appreciate you. God bless you, sir. Great. God bless you. Bye -bye. Thank you. Have a good night. You too. All right. So, wish Americans were as passionate about their freedom as Lily Tang Williams is about hers, though she experienced living under Mao's dictatorship in China. She sees the same thing happening, the oppressed and the oppressor. That's what critical race theory is. Mainstream media is not reporting on that. They're just saying, well, it's just uh, teaching these kids history, real history, and 
uh, it's good because it opens discussion. It opens discussion on race. No, that is not what is taking place. The white kids are the oppressor. The non-white kids are the oppressed. You know, <clears throat> sure wish that people would just stop just listening to mainstream media, do the research themselves. That would be good. So, everybody needs to be fighting this. Everybody. Even if you don't have children, even if you don't have, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, children in public school. Every adult needs to be fighting this. Why? Because this is abuse to all, all kids, white and non-white. They're telling the non-white, the uh, black and brown students, very, very young, that you're just oppressed. You're a victim of racism that is permanent here. It's permanent. Uh, the white kids, you're the ones who are doing all of this to everybody else. And you're racist. And you will always be racist. You, there's no escape from this. You know, the similarities, I have posted many videos on the similarities that are taking place right now in our country. And this is a very, very, very divisive curricula, curriculum that they have going in public schools. So is it important for all of us to be outspoken about this? Is it very important for parents to go and get this stopped in your schools, get that courage. If you're sitting back, not doing a thing because you're afraid, or how about, I hear a lot of parents saying, I don't want to speak up because I don't want my child to experience the ramifications. So you allow your child five days a week to be abused, to be indoctrinated into uh, a, a Marxist system, I think <clears throat> once your kids grow up and they're these little uh, activists and they're Marxists, you might, you might think, geez, I wish I had spoken up. Now, you know, she is doing an awful lot. If you can go to her PayPal account and give what you can as a donation, that would help. If you go to her channel, become a subscriber, please, and circulate Lily Tang Williams' videos. Now, I look at these numbers. And that's not okay. So our job is to circulate information. That is our job. Every one of us is to circulate information about what is taking place, especially when it affects children. Every adult has the responsibility to protect children. Yeah. And also, you know... <clears throat> The adults in areas where they don't have school, you're still paying property taxes. <laughs> you pay property taxes, and the money is going to these schools. Not all of it, but so you're paying taxes for these public schools regardless of whether or not you have children. So you have a voice. You have a right to say something. Okay, I sure would like to see these numbers increase. Lily, thank you very much for everything that you are doing, everything.